Argentina is one of the most well-liked entry points into South America and is home to vibrant towns, serene wilderness, magnificent waterfalls, and towering mountains. Not to mention the majestic architecture, high mountains, wildlife-filled wetlands, and renowned steakhouses. It is a complete South American experience. However, given the size of Argentina, there is a lot of land to cover. If you're not sure where to begin, we can help you focus with the list of our top 10 must-see locations, which ranges from national parks sculpted by glaciers to wineries beneath the Andes. Keep on watching to see which one would be a great place to start off your South American journey. Number 1. Buenos Aires Buenos Aires is home to sultry tango clubs, boisterous football games, lovely barrios, ancient cemeteries, top-notch museums, and a vibrant nightlife. It offers everything you could possibly wish for in a major city experience. Buenos Aires mixes Latin passion, superb cuisine, and a vibrant nightlife with deteriorating colonial architecture. This lovely city gets under your skin since it is so beautiful and vibrant. The Argentine capital is, above all, a great location to dine out. Its parillas or steakhouses like Don Julio, which 50 greatest awarded the best restaurant in Latin America in 2020, featuring what may be the world's best meat. Additionally, there are a ton of ethnic restaurants selling anything from Peruvian to Armenian food, plus an ice cream shop on almost every street. Due to the size of Buenos Aires, it is advantageous to stay close to the regions you intend to see. Recoleta, Retiro, Palermo, and San Telmo each have a unique combination of attractions, dining options, and local flavor. Number two, the Pampas. There is the city of Buenos Aires, and then there is the province, the Pampas, and the Atlantic coast. These rich grasslands, which are home to more than a third of the country's inhabitants and still provide the majority of the nation's farmed cattle, supported Argentina's golden era at the start of the 20th century. The Pampas, or flat, rich grasslands that make up a large portion of Central America, are characterized by the cattle business and are linked to gaucho or cowboy culture. Even if there aren't many tourist attractions in the area, there are simple joys and traditional gaucho culture that are just waiting to be found. While the gorgeous hills surrounding Tandil are great for trekking and indulging in locally manufactured picadas, Little San Antonio de Areco gives a sight of Argentina's real-life cowboys in action. The Atlantic Coast's beach towns provide a cool respite for the summer heat. If you have a few more days, stay at one of the area's old estancias and go horseback riding beneath a vast sky. Number 3. Iguazu Falls The spectacular series of waterfalls, which spans 3 kilometers and is bordered by subtropical rainforest, is one of the world's greatest natural marvels. It is shared by Argentina and Brazil. Millions of tourists go to Argentina and Brazil each year to see this stunning natural spectacle. 1,640,000 local and international visitors came to the park in 2019. The adjacent National Park's network of trails, walkways, and bridges enables visitors to go up close to the area's more than 250 waterfalls and cataracts. One is at Foz de Iguazu and the other is in Puerto Iguazu, making up the Iguazu National Park. The Garganta del Diablo, also known as the Devil's Throat, is the focal point of the attraction. It is a roiling mass of white water that emits an audible roar and creates massive clouds of spray. Number 4. Parque Nacional Ibera Ibera National Park, which was established in 2018, is anticipated to rank among Argentina's top tourist destinations. Some of the greatest wildlife viewing opportunities in the nation and Criollo customs from its distinct Spanish and Guaran heritage may be found in these restored wetlands. More than 360 species of birds live in the hot, humid marshes of this recently established national park in northern Argentina, including kingfishers, jabiru storks, and roseate spoonbills. Ibera National Park is best explored by boat. The major entrance to the park, the settlement of Colonia Carlos Pellegrini, makes it simple to organize guided boat and kayak expeditions. Number 5. Salta This charming city, known as Salta la Linda, or Salta the Beautiful, is located in the far northwest of Argentina, close to the Chilean and Bolivian borders. 
It is a favorite for stimulating active minds with its outstanding museums and igniting romantic candles with its plaza-side cafes and the live folkloric music of its vibrant peas. With the exception of the early traffic, it provides the amenities of a bigger metropolis while maintaining the cozy pace of a smaller town. Salta is a city full of ancient palaces, churches, government buildings, and plazas, some of which date back to the city's founding in 1582. Salta is situated on the edge of the Lerma Valley, surrounded by mountains. Additionally, it has a rich cultural landscape that includes both ambient folk music venues called Pies and top-notch museums and galleries like the Museo de Arqueología de Alta Manta, which investigates Inca civilization and the practice of human sacrifice. Number 6. Mendoza Province Mendoza is a trap despite being a lively city with broad, lush avenues, mysterious plazas, and international cafes. Even if you just plan to spend one or two days there, you'll probably fall in love with the relaxed atmosphere. Argentina is the fifth largest wine producer in the world, and Mendoza province is its hub. The country's Midwest near the Andes is covered with vineyards and wineries, many of which provided guided tours, tastings, lodging, and even the opportunity to assist with the harvest. While Mendoza is justifiably well known for its Malbec, the province also makes a ton of other delectable wines, including reds, whites, and rosés. Try to schedule your trip to take place between February and April when the grape harvest occurs. The greatest event in Mendoza, the famed Fiesta Nacional de la Vendimia, wine festival takes place in March and lodging will be in high demand. Number 7. The Argentinian Lake District It's not difficult to see why Argentina's Lake District is a popular tourist destination given the region's glistening bodies of water, emerald green woods, and soaring mountains and volcanoes covered in snow. The charming lakeside city of Bariloche serves as the entry point to this lush area, which is located in Patagonia's northwest. In the nearby Parque Nacional Nahuel Huapi, you may choose from a wide range of outdoor activities including hiking, mountain biking, fishing, kayaking, and skiing. Bariloche becomes Argentina's top ski destination throughout the winter, the resorts in the area are crowded, but the powder is some of the greatest in the world. Number 8. Cueva de los Manos Pintados The Cave of the Painted Hands is a mysterious site with a mysterious collection of rock art made between 13,000 and 9,500 years ago, hidden in a lonely canyon surrounded by the Patagonian grassland. These multicolored rock paintings, which date to around 7370 BC, fill nooks in the almost vertical walls with depictions of guanacos, human hands, and later abstract patterns. The 800 or more stenciled human hand forms that adorn the walls gave the UNESCO World Heritage Site its name. Whatever hue they are, whether red, white, black, or ochre, their function is still a fascinating enigma. Along with depictions of hunting scenarios, there are also pictures of pumas, guanacos, and reyes. From the communities of Perito Moreno and Posadas, guided trips are available. Number 9. Peninsula Valdes Located on the arid eastern Patagonian coast of Argentina, some of the best wildlife in the nation may be found on this oddly formed peninsula. During their peak seasons, sightings of elephant seals, megalonic penguins, southern right whales, guanacos, armadillos, and foxes are nearly a certainty. Also popular is whale viewing. At high tide from February to April, orcas can be observed. They have been seen on camera stealing pinnipeds from this beach. This UNESCO World Heritage Site may be reached from the town of Puerto Madryn and provides a range of boating, kayaking, and diving experiences, but marine life is frequently seen from the shore. The biggest colony of megalonic penguins in South America is located at Punta Tombo, 250 kilometers farther down the coast from Puerto Madryn. Number 10, Parque Nacional Los Graciares. The Southern Patagonia Park, which spans more than 5,956 square kilometers of iceberg-filled lakes, craggy Andean peaks, and most noticeably, enormous glaciers, is one of Argentina's most popular tourist destinations. The northern half, a paradise for hikers and climbers, is best explored from the undeveloped community of El Chalten, 
while the southern section known for the Parito Moreno Glacier is accessible from the tourist resort of El Calafate. Glacier Parito Moreno, one of the planet's most active and accessible ice fields, is the breathtaking focal point of Parque Nacional Los Glaciares Southern Region. Glaciar Moreno, as it is known locally, is a glacier that is 30 kilometers long, 5 kilometers broad, and 60 meters high. However, what sets it apart from other glaciers is that it continues to advance at a rate of up to 2 meters per day, producing icebergs the size of buildings to calve off its face. Watching the glacier is, in some respects, a fairly sedentary park experience, yet it still manages to be exciting. Beautiful, defiant, and intense, Argentina is a natural wonderland rising up into mighty mountains, plunging down into rolling grasslands, and breaking up at the fringes in a sprawl of headlands and beaches. Which of these places do you want to visit? Also, check out this other video if you want to know the top 10 man-made wonders of the world. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our top 10 prime picks.